I think we're in a very fortunate day and age where our electronics in our boats definitely help us enjoy the experience more, whether it's boating or fishing or whatever it may be. But like anything, if you learn how to do the basics, it's gonna make your life a lot easier in many cases. When it comes to your new Simrad unit, you can start by turning it on. Right here is your power button. We're gonna power it up just like that. Now we obviously go accept and that's gonna bring us into our screen. Being touch screen, it's just so good. It's a lot like using your iPhone. I've got my full sounder screen here. It's rolling through. We can see high chirp, 19.9 .9 degree water. Now, straight away, gain and sensitivity is paramount and it's something you'll need to adjust all the time. You can either adjust that in your menu, which is here, you touch that, it brings all this down. See, we've got gain here, it's at auto five. The auto functions are so good. You can either open your auto up there or you can open your auto up here like this. Gain, sensitivity, call it what you will, is what's gonna help you to spot what's going on in the water. Best thing about this automatic stuff, you can actually override it. If I pump the gain right up as high as it will go, you see everything's red, everything's solid, there's lots of stuff going on. The idea is you wanna get just the right amount going on here. And if I bring that back, we'll lose a bit of detail, we'll lose some of the clutter, we'll pull it back, but anything solid that comes through like that there, this here, that's quite a solid fat line, you know that that's good. The other thing now is your color. It's currently at 46, everything here is red. If I bring this back a bit, and I reckon about 42, 41, maybe even a bit less, all of a sudden we're starting to get detail. Something that's solid like that fish there, the red indicates that that's a solid return, but the stuff that I really like to see is what's going on in the bottom here. So you color line, adjust it, and it will give you the detail, especially of what's going on on the bottom. If I turn this dial here, it's a manual feature. I'm now zooming in on the bottom. I'm seeing what's going on from about 4.1 meters down to eight, and something that looks very flat and not a lot, here I can see, there's a bit of growth on the bottom there, a bit of growth on the bottom here, just like that. Not a lot there and a couple of spots here. This could potentially be great ground for say whiting or something like that. If I zoom this up even more, we get even more detail. As we do that, if we zoom it out, we've gone back to being a fairly flat screen. To make your unit work properly and, and to get the right stuff going out of it, you've always got to remember this orange border here is what you're actually on at the moment. So if I open that menu, it's all my sounder frequencies and stuff like that. This is a high chirp transducer that I'm running here. And if we look at that, you've got high chirp, low chirp, custom. You can actually do all sorts of different stuff. That's my trail recording there. But if I go back into this and we go back and we go advanced, the other feature we've got is TVG. This is time variable gain and it's what clears up a lot of your surface clutter. Your other gain will clear up your bottom clutter but generally speaking, TVG, the way I like to work it, that's a fish right there. The way I like to work it in shallow water, snapper fishing, doing stuff like that, pretty well up to striped marlin fishing on the edge of the shelf. TVG will be fairly low. Something around in shallow water, say five to 50 meters of water, will generally be around one, two, or three. When I get out to say 150 meters of water on the striped marlin, it's generally up around that five, six, seven, eight. You need to adjust it every day. You even need to adjust it as your day of fishing changes. From what's shallow water in the morning to deeper water later on will make a total difference if you adjust your TVG to suit. Same thing with your gain. Don't set it in the morning and just leave it and hope that it's right. Keep adjusting it and you'll get more detail. Watch this. This here, that arch, if I open my gain up, watch this, I'll pull this down and if I've got that too low, you can actually make the fish that sit in there disappear. We've got no detail, no nothing. If I bring this back up, we get a bit of detail here, a bit of scratch, and that's exactly what we're looking for. So there you have it, a couple of the basics to get the best out of your unit. The best thing I can suggest is to play around with it, take some time to get to know it, and you'll absolutely love it. But most of all, if you've got anything you would like to know about or like to learn about, leave a comment on the post below, and we will do our best to make a clip so that you can learn a bit more about your wonderful Simrad unit.